So a big idea by definition is a big blank space, right? And we as human beings are very uncomfortable with big white spaces because it's really hard to figure out where do you start? Sometimes the execution can be where the team stumbles and we need to show them ways. Making sure that you repeat the message over and over. A new idea uh, is, looks uh, uh, exciting at the beginning, but it can become uh, hard when you don't see the results happening. So taking an idea from a state where you're just discussing it in a meeting to actually implementing the idea takes a series of steps. Number one, really, you have to get everyone on your side. When you as a leader can create an environment where you're comfortable knowing that there's going to be failures along the way, you have to course correct, and that's okay. So I think there's a power in keeping focus and knowing where you're going and keeping your people in it. If you want people to buy into your vision, it has to be tangible. It has to be something that they can believe in and they understand. I have to put a, just as much effort into not only the vision, but I have to also put as enough effort into teaching them and giving the tools to be able to actually go and practice it. The first thing I always say is pilot test. So you're gathering feedback you're testing it again, you're gathering more feedback, you're testing it again. And then with each iteration, it makes the idea stronger, it makes the project stronger, and now you can take that idea and implement it over time into the organization. Sometimes we focus so much on the what, and we leave our teams to figure out the how. Myself and other leaders need to show um, again and again how the work of today is bringing us closer to tomorrow. Start with a plan and be prepared for constant change. No matter how great your plan is, it's never going to be what you think it is. The best piece of advice that I have received is to just do it. Failure is your friend because it's information that you need. Um, and sometimes maybe it's not even about failure, it's you actually believing in the idea. Put your idea on the table and back it up. Develop a strategy. Um, when I moved from individual contributor to manager, I think I forgot initially uh, to just create a strategy. Providing people with a vision is very, very important to execute the day-by-day -day job. My mother taught me to be bold, and I carry that on even as I help manage and lead my team through change initiatives, because if we're not bold and we can't be fearless and go for it, and if we don't do that, then we'll never achieve anything. When you're in a hole, stop digging. When you're in trouble, Admit your mistakes immediately. It's much easier to get out of the ditch than out of the Grand Canyon. It's really about um, remembering every single day uh, that uh, what we have done, um, it's one step farther in reaching that future that we dream of. One thing I do like to do, you know, when, and when you're on a team of people with diverse personalities, you have to find out what people want you to do. Just telling someone thank you, I know we say that a lot, oh, just say thank you, it's not actually enough. It's thank you and this thing that you did, this is how it changed the team. And without you and your presence on this team, we could not have done it. I do a weekly report every week to my people and to the board. And when we hit that, everybody is really happy. Um, success actually begets success, right? Because it becomes like the giant flywheel. For me, it's about finding fun every day in everything that we do and celebrating even the execution of something that may seem mundane. We make beer, um, so there's always a reason to celebrate. <laughs>